we're going to cover the setting of the pilot valve to actuate the control valve here to allow air to come in to the dryer or shut it off so no air comes into the dryer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to set this at the low pressure, the, the, the starting point. Uh, on this particular system we set it at 85 psi. So the first thing we do is we loosen this large nut right here and then we take this differential nut, this is the second nut, and we're going to screw this nut in until you feel it seat against the ball. There's a ball check in there and you'll feel it seat. Then we lightly snug this jam nut right here and that'll lock it into place. Next we're going to loosen this pressure adjustment lock nut. We're going to loosen that and we're going to take this pressure adjustment screw here and we're going to back that off two turns. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need to set the pressure in the tank to where we want it to kick on. So we want it to kick on at 85 psi. So right now this tank pressure has more pressure in it than 85 psi. So what we need to do is there's a valve at the bottom of the tank, there's a, there's a petcock, we can open that petcock slowly and let that tank pressure bleed down until we reach 85 psi or whatever pressure you want it to start at. Once you reach that 85 psi, shut that valve off. Now we're going to finish setting the pilot valve. What we're going to do first is we're going to loosen this jam nut again and we're going to back this off one quarter turn. Now we're going to tighten the jam nut snugly so this jam nut is set. So at the low end, now what we're going to do is with this adjustment valve right here, this adjustment screw, we're going to screw this in slowly until you will hear some air vent out this little cap right here. As soon as you hear that air vent out that little cap, now we can adjust this screw right here, this jam nut, and lock it in. That sets the low end, so it'll start at 185, and this is set for 30 psi, so it'll go up to like 115 and then shut off. So you can slightly adjust this by adjusting the differential and this adjustment nut here.